सो वेलकम बैक टू बिट फ्यूम्स एंड दिस इज एंगुलर प्लस लर्वल ऑथेंटिकेशन सीरीज एंड वी हैव डन एवरी थिंग एंड वी हैव डन द रीसेट पासवर्ड ऑल्सो बट द प्रॉब्लम इज इफ आई गिव सेंड पासवर्ड रीसेट ई मेल क्लिक हेयर देर इज नो रिस्पॉन्स दैट वी हैव टू वेट एंड वॉट वी हैव टू डू वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन इन द बैकग्राउंड आफ्टर सम टाइम इट एम टी आउट बट दिस मीन्स ई मेल इज गिवेन बट यूजर डजेंट accept these things because there is no response or there is no idea what is going on next thing is uh, we should have some kind of notification that's why we have used s notify uh, s notify yeah ngs notify ngs notify we have downloaded in the beginning of this course i think and we have to use this one and another thing is that when the user click here and there is some problem like there is some problem like this random data yeah we will get the error we will get the error here so you can see we have to show these error so let's do all these things in this episode so let's go to vs code and we are handling the response we have to handle the error also so this dot error is equal to error dot error dot error why three time error first is error second error dot error dot error which is like if you give any random data here and click here and yes we get so error and this is the last one so last one is errors actually and this means we have everything all the error here on the error uh, data we have so what next we have to do so here on this where is that yeah response whenever there is an error related to our email then we have to give a span where we will say alert alert danger okay and this will be inside double quotes and this will only going to show that means it is hidden when uh, error dot email is not available so if there is error dot email then it show otherwise don't show and here let's show error dot email error related to email so yes we have these things and give any random thing here change password email must be a valid email address good so why not do one thing move this outside and same thing we have to do with password so password and this means copy once more give here and this will now become confirmation so everything is good it's refreshing two pages so close that okay random 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 okay all these things are good but uh, i think these things are not looking quite nice so what i will do i will move all these span again inside this div and remove alert and simply i will use text danger okay this is cool so move this inside class text danger move inside class text danger one more try email random random <laughs> yeah this is quite nice good so these things are nice but as we have promised the notify and actually if we go to package.json for the front end we can see we have this ngs notify ngs notify we have to use this but where we have to use this we have to use this here on the handle response okay so how we can handle uh, how we can use this so ngs notify we need to have this one go to this github repository 
and they are showing you how you can use this so documentation open documentation for this and getting started and we have to say some kind of warning or information so we have to use like these things so maybe we have to say like confirm part so this is s notify for the confirm and example how we can use so service dot whatever we want to use so let's first use that so private uh, private private uh, we have notify so maybe notify is s notify and auto import so here we will say notify this dot notify dot confirm and what we are going to firstly confirm so in this confirm part we can see that we have to say body and here is the example actually for the confirm confirm and whatever you want to confirm so confirm is for done and here we have to say done and now login now login with new password password and after that we need a button why button uh, we have some kind of button yeah here we have after a comma and we need to firstly give parenthesis of oh, curly braces then button button is an array array of text then action and all these things so let's use this one so here I will paste it and text is okay and action has to be here we will use toaster and toaster toaster is this and like this let's use here and toaster will be after this we need to say um, the same thing the router navigate but let's do one thing cut this from here make it uh, let underscore router is equal to this dot router then I will say underscore router cut it out from here paste it here but along with this we need to dismiss our uh, notification so after this we will say this dot notify dot remove and toaster dot id let's see the result lots of error it's showing this is giving error because this s notify is not s notify it's s notify service actually so import that instead of s notify only so let's remove s notify and after doing that and it's not a button it's buttons and now all error are gone so let's once more try and with fumes secret secret and change the password and done now you log in with password and if I say okay redirect it to our navbar but that s notify stylings are not correct because if I go to stylings for the s notify on the installation you will get at the bottom we need to give the styles and we have not given the styles so open this angular CLI JSON on the styles we have to give this and now the style name is material I will call so this means this will surely work once again reset password send and yeah we have to give as notify here also and yeah that's here reset the password password change password okay it's not doing that maybe it's not compiled so why not do one thing here on this construction I will say notify dot 
error and error is hello <laughs> okay so maybe we will see is there any okay let's go here okay so this is good maybe we need to do one thing more on this note part let's ng serve once more and now it is good so let's go to chrome refresh this chrome and yes you can see error is working this means everything is working absolutely fine so delete this from here this is uh, we know this is working so close this and the send part of email let's open the component here when we are sending the uh, email so response for handling of the response here we need to check that also so what we will do when we submit that data so let's use notify here also and we need to import first so let's import private notify is s notify service remember that that has to be service and now i will say notify this one dot info and we will say wait one two three and timeout is 5000 this means 5 seconds wait and so let's give them it is a timeout of 5 seconds and when this is done yeah you can see we are having this dot notify error similarly we need to say notify dot success and response dot data and timeout is zero okay then null so timeout is zero this means it get the default timeout which is two second and everything is good so let's go to login and reset password give a random which is not an email so it says email doesn't found on our database and yeah you have to wait something but if you give correct email then it will say wait 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 and reset email is sent successfully please check your inbox so yeah i will now check it inbox reset the password so give correct email secret secret change password okay then now you can log in okay and yeah so these things are super so i think whatever i have showed you in the demo part I have covered all these things so if you have liked these episodes and if you have liked this series then please go to patreon.com slash bitfumes to support bitfumes to continue this awesome work if you like this episode so if you like my work then one dollar a month will be a huge huge help and there will be some rewards if you become patreon you will get free coupons for my udemy courses in the future and if you are not able to do these things it's not a problem just go and subscribe to this channel and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in some another episode some another way some other some another journey so till then goodbye